Hello to all my crafty subscribers. Thanks so much for stopping by and joining me in another tutorial. Today, as you see, we have a Cricut um, tutorial again. And I have seen that there's like a lot of demand for this video on my channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring a couple of them more often. Okay, so the first thing I did is um, the same thing that I did last time. I went on the internet and I searched for a quote that I might like. And this is going to be making a um, an apron. And this apron I created for the Crafty Maven Getaway, um, a channel that I'm a, a one of the design, what is it called, the uh, design team member, I think. And um, I did that for one of the days that I post over there. I will leave that channel down below if you're interested. And well, let, let's get started. The video is kind of like just crazy going on. Right now, what I did, like I said, I looked up for a quote on the internet, and the next thing I did was put it on my design space um, board. And all you really do is add a text, and you can decide either um, write the text all at once, then ungroup, and then move letters around if that's what you like, or you can type each letter, and then after that, you can ungroup and change the way they are and also and so but one thing you do have to know is that um you have to if you want in a specific font you have to pick the font when you're writing it like if you write it and then you can modify that font just look the different fonts that might work for you as you can see um because after you ungroup you will not be able to modify modify your font that's just um, something real quick to remember before we you know you create your 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 um, quote or whatever so um yeah this apron i bought it at uh, michael's and it was about two dollars and it's not the greatest quality or anything but it's very fun i think it's more of a decoration for your room um than anything so what i'm gonna do is since i did a giveaway on the crafty maybe giveaway crafty maybe and getaway i'm sorry um for this apron i'm going to also do a giveaway on this um video for my channel on this apron so if you're interested all you have to do is be a subscriber um like this video and comment down below and you'll be entered so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave it for two weeks um more than anything because i um been very busy so i don't want to be short on time and not be able to get it done before i set that so just from now I'll count the two weeks and i'll check the dates and i'll put the description down everything like the um and the description down so you guys can check that out so as you can see i picked different fonts already and i fixed them the way i wanted them um one of my favorite favorite fonts is like I was saying before my phone interrupted me, interrupted me, is my favorite font is Birth Paradise, which is the word that I use on the glitter word. Okay, so after I finish um, adding everything on my design space, I go right to my table. One thing real quick, guys, don't forget, like I always say, don't forget to do mirror image on your words. So you, if you're using iron bino, because otherwise you have to redo it everything again. And guess what happened? I forgot to do iron on a vinyl and I had to cut everything twice. Not fun and not exciting either. And I was very mad because then you waste all that vinyl and you guys know vinyl is not that cheap either. Um, and as you can see here, I have my apron and I'm going to give it a quick iron, get rid of some of those wrinkles. And I think this is the only time I ever um, iron anything because it's something that I like right <laughs> I don't iron anything I dry my clothes and I hang it so yeah probably this is like the only time I do anyway um, moving on let's not get distracted I already ironed and I'm gonna place my wording right on my apron just to see where I want them and here's my little trick with the paper towel I have um, some of you like this trick and I really love this trick because I find that if I put a cloth or any other fabric it's really thick and the heat does not transfer very well and I really hope you find this helpful too. Just try to use a towel that doesn't have any texture. So it doesn't transfer the texture into your vinyl. And the vinyl that I'm using um, is from different companies. Actually, the purple, the pink, 
Um, they're from, I think, happyscrapper.com. And they're very inexpensive brand, and I really like the quality. Um, they stay on very long time. And the lot, the gold one is from the Cricut line. Um, that one's really good too, but it's kind of more on the pricey side. I think a roll is like thirteen dollars or something, unless you find it like on sale, and then that would that would be great. And um, the the letters that I use, the name of the font that I use for so the word so hard is I think it's brush stroke, and that's another of my favorite favorite. Um, fonts and all those fonts you can find in dafont.com and those are free downloads so you don't have to purchase those you can uh, you can use them for your use and um for personal use actually i don't know about business or stuff like that and another th real quick i just wanted to ask you guys if you're interested in any more of these videos just let me know down in the description below or what are the things that you like to see um as far as the cricket i don't know um maybe you want to some tips maybe like i said before i am not an expert um i also um you know look watch a lot of videos to learn because um, it's easier for me to learn from seeing something than from reading it and as you can see here i'm just going over every single letter and yeah don't mind my dot on my eye i i don't know where to go but i'll probably cut another dot and put it in um, after you iron just make sure you flip your clothes to the other side and give it a good iron press on really good because um, we don't have those professional irons where you can put it in they press on really good so just give it a good iron um, in the back and then the front just to make sure everything is tight here and just um, I another thing really quick tip that I want to give you um, that you might find helpful is that after you're done with your apron hang it on a, on a hanger overnight I feel that if you leave it there um, it just kind of sets the vinyl and you won't have any wrinkly problems afterwards and even if you wash it it'll be fine anyway this video is just about um, be done and uh, thank you so much for stopping by and joining me another tutorial I will leave some pictures at the end and I'll see you guys until the next one bye bye